welcome to Flagstaff TV. Today we are joined by Graham Lyon, who is the Executive Chairman of Sound Energy PLC. Graham, thank you very much for joining us today. Good afternoon, Catherine. Graham, can you start by telling us a bit more about the transaction that you announced by RNS today? Yeah, thanks for that. I, um, I think we've done quite a, a reasonable deal here. Um, we've taken our partner, Slumberger, out of the, um, the consortium developing our uh, acreage in Tendrara. So what we've done is we've acquired a corporate acquisition, the Slumberger Silk Route Services Company for a, for a dollar. And, uh, and that includes the 27.5% that Slumberger directly owned in the greater um, Tendrara expiration license. It includes the 27.5% in the Anual expiration license and an indirect interest in the Tendrara concession itself. So in exchange for that, for the dollar, we've also given them something a little bit more, which is a profit sharing agreement. And uh, once we're generating revenues and once we're generating profits, they'll get between 11% of the profits or 8% of the profits, depending on which part of the concession area we're talking about. If it's part of the core area, they'll get 11%. And uh, if it's part of the outside around the core area, they'll get 8%. So in principle, that's 40% uh, of their, what they would have had if they'd stayed in at 27.5%. That's the maximum. And in parallel to that, we've also included in their a sale if if we come to sell their ex, their share of the expiration acreage then they'll get a share either 27 and a half or 55 percent of their their element of the expiration acreage so yeah it's it's um, it's got many parts into it but it's uh, it's quite a good um, attractive deal we think it certainly sounds like one and what makes it particularly such an attractive deal for sound energy well for us it's uh, it's really a good deal because we take on for virtually no capital um, an additional 58% of the resource base. So it's, you know, it's a substantial increase, 104 BCF of extra gas that's uh, available to us. And clearly we have a development plan that we want to go forward. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice deal for us. It's an accretive deal for us. Uh, it adds to our resource base with little cap, virtually no capital outlay. And why do you think that Slumberger would want to leave such a good development and discovery opportunity? Well, they've been a very supportive partner. In fact, they've been part of the process to take our development forward. And um, I think, you know, I can't talk on behalf of Slumberger. You must ask them corporately what they're doing. But I think the track record in the last uh, year or so is that Slumberger have been generally withdrawing from their upstream assets. But that doesn't mean that they're withdrawing from Morocco. They will still be providing services. So, um, yeah, I think for us, it's, a, it's an attractive deal. For Slumberjack, it's a good deal as well. They get to stay in and they get some element of the uh, profits from the, the project as well. So I, I think both sides are quite satisfied with the structure of the deal now. And are you able to fund the deal with the 75% sound energy position? Well, that's, that's right. And that's a, one of the fundamental things for us is we didn't want to take this deal on and then be back to square one looking for a funding to get this, this uh, project going, our phase development of Tendrara. Phase one is fully funded once we close the deal announced with Afrikira Gas. So the $13.5 million plus the $2 million of equity uh, provides sound with sufficient funds to go forward with this development. And that's also including the Ital Fluids uh, lease to buy um, facility. So yes, um, we like it. It's an increase in our reserve position. It's an increase in our, our revenue. It's an increase in our profits um, with little capital uh, to spend up from. Thank you. And uh, won't you be missing Slumberger's technical expertise? Well, it's true to say they were very helpful in the, in the exploration phase and uh, helping the discoveries. Um, but that technical expertise is not going away. We can still use Slumberjay and they've been a good partner to us um, for our financial reasons, but they've also been a good uh, service company provider. Now we have that ability to retain those uh, services and use those services, but bear in mind, we're also partnering with other service providers and Ital Fluids is a good example now. They're 
providing the engineering facility where Slumberjay would not be able to provide that. We're also partnering with ARAS, we're partnering with Bedrock Drilling, we're partnering with ERCE. So we have no shortage of good counterparties on the service side. And of course, Slumberjay are there for us uh, should we need them. Talking of other partners, will you be now looking for another partner for this development? Um, I think now that we've got set, well, we will have once we've completed this 75% shareholding, uh, this does give us plenty of opportunity to allow a further uh, company to come in. And what we've noticed in the last uh, few months is that we've got a different type of potential co-venturer approaching us to look at the development. They particularly like phase two, the bigger um, project, the, the pipeline project, the CPF and the gas to power project that we're looking at uh, putting together for phase two. So yes, I think uh, the opportunity to do that is always there, but we don't need another partner at this stage to go forward with phase one. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of this deal. It's, uh, it's a large size deal with no extra cost to, to sound and provided, of course, we close with Africa Gas and Ital Fluids, we have a funded phase one development. So yeah, we, we're, we're quite excited about this. And how about the exploration plays now that Slumberger is no longer a funding partner? Yes, that's true. Um, with Greater Tendrara, we have uh, completed all our work commitments for the first phase of exploration. And then moving into the second phase of exploration, which starts in October 22, uh, 2022. Um, that's that's a, a little way off yet. The Anual, while we have a rig on standby, we've identified the prospect that uh, we would like to drill. But of course, we've had COVID um, causing us some issues of trying to get ready for production, uh, sorry, for, for um, exploration this year. So a little bit like we did with the City Moktar license um, uh, earlier, uh, last, later last year, um, we've been in, in good conversations with Onim and we expect to uh, see that we'll probably phase the annual um, exploration such that it's compliant with the COVID situation. Because whilst we technically could be ready to do this operationally we're, we're far away from being ready for doing this great well, that's all we've got time for today congratulations on this excellent news thank you very much it's been good to be here and i, I think this is an exciting deal for the shareholders as well as sound energy thank you very much catherine thank you for joining us today and thank you for watching flagstaff tv